It's a fish eat fish world, and today you want to create a fish head. Hey guys, welcome back. That's by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender 2.8 once again, taking a look at how to create this guy right here. This cube will be uh, stretched up a little bit, so hit S Z to scale it up a little bit, just a little bit like that. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this camera too by hitting H to hide it as well. Now with our cube, we can go ahead and hit Control 4 to add in a subdivision surface, or we can go to the Modifiers tab here, add a modifier, subdivision surface. We can go ahead and change the view up to uh, maybe uh, 3. Yeah, looking pretty good. We'll hit Tab to go into Edit Mode. We will actually grab a loop cut, and loop cut this once right about... Oh, no, see, I have my loop cut set to 3. Uh, change, make sure this number of cuts appears is set to 1. Then we'll, we'll loop cut that once. They've changed it. It's really weird now. There's no more scrolling. I don't know why, but that's the way it is. Anyway, uh, we, we can go close that. Uh, we can go ahead and now uh, go out of edit mode. Uh, S, Y to scale on the Y axis like that. So his head is a bit thinner. So S, Y, just a little bit thinner on that side. Uh, maybe not that thin. Yeah, looking good like that. Uh, and now what we can do is we can go ahead and hit Object, Shade, Smooth, and we can bump our view up maybe by one. Yeah, we'll go to four for all of those. Uh, we'll leave quality on three. Don't, don't worry about that. All right, actually, we can actually bring quality down to two most likely. Looking pretty good so far. I'm going to go ahead and hit Shift A to add in an Ica, a UV sphere. Sorry, UV sphere RX90 on my numpad to, uh, to rotate it so that it is now pointing us. If I go into edit mode, you can see. Uh, let me go back to that. Uh, hit S to scale it down, and we will hit GY to move it forward. I'll go to regular solid viewport shading because it makes this a bit easier to see. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit GX to move this off to the side. I'll hit S to scale it up a little bit more. GY to move back into his head a little bit, and GZ to move it up a little bit. Something like that. Maybe looking pretty good. We can hit 5 1 on my numpad to see the front facing view to see exactly where his eye is laying. Looking pretty good like that, I guess. Um, maybe out a little more. G, Y, G, X. Yeah, sure. And then we'll hit uh, eh, S to scale up a little bit. And that might collide a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit uh, S D, uh, Shift D, sorry. Then right-click to cancel that movement. We'll go ahead and open up this right-hand side panel. And, and uh, on the X location, we'll get rid of this negative sign to, to snap that over to the other side. Looking pretty good so far. I'll go ahead. And with both of these, actually, we can get rid of that. Let's, let's do this again. I'm sorry. We'll go ahead and, and do this first so we don't have to do it uh, twice. We'll hit Tab to go into Edit Mode. Uh, hit A, double tap A to deselect everything. Hit C to get the brush to come up. We will go to uh, Face Select Mode up here. Then hit C again, sorry. We'll uh, grab all of these vertices here. Hit E to extrude them inwards. And we'll do something like about right there. Looking pretty good. Um, go to Edge Select Mode now. And we will go ahead and hold down, hold down, uh, Alt Shift, and then we'll Alt Shift, and we'll right click this edge loop. Uh, so now the only thing that we have selected is this edge loop, and we'll hit uh, Control B to bevel this, and we'll make a really small bevel, something like that. You can barely even see it, right? Uh, something like that. Uh, now we can go ahead and, hit and add a modifier of a subdivision surface. And bump that up to maybe two or something like that. We can hide that for right now, actually. And the inside, we'll do the same thing. So on the inside edge here, we'll uh, hold down Shift Alt and uh, left click everything. Hit Control B to bevel. And once again, we'll do a really small bevel. Or we can just do this at the same time. That, that, that's that's a better thing to do. So now they're the, now they'll be the same size. So hit we'll hold down. Alt Shift for this loop, then Alt Shift for this loop, Control B for both of them, and then we can just make a really small bevel. Looking pretty good. Then we'll re-add that subdivision surface back, and now you can see we have a little bit of an eyeball going on now. I want to make this not as so far back, so we'll go back to face select mode, hit C to bring that brush back up, grab all of those faces, hit GY to move them forward, and now since we have the um, I'll, I'll hide this subdivision surface since we have this bevel we have a little bit of those uh, in here that I'm missing so we'll go ahead and select all of these right we'll select all of these because I don't want to be too precise to grab them um, middle mouse button to get rid of the ones we don't need so we can go to the side I hit period on my numpad so I can uh, rotate easier without uh, moving as quickly I'll hit C to bring the brush back up in a middle mouse button all of these ones we do not need uh, so yeah, we can just do that and get rid of all those. Now we can hit GY and move that eye up so it's not as far back. 
I also want to go ahead and grab all of these vertices and make them flat because right now you can see they're not actually flat. We have a little bit of a point right there on the eye. I don't want that. So we'll go and uh, grab all these faces with C once again. Uh, S, Y, so we can make this, you know, point out or stick in. Uh, zero on my numpad like that. So now it is 100% flat as you can see. We'll go and make sure this is on smooth shading by going up to object shade smooth and making sure that our um, our subdivisions are working properly and they're uh, activated. There we go. So now make sure they're not hidden like that. And now we are set to go. Looking pretty good so far. What I want to do is we can actually we can hide that one more time. I'm sorry. Uh, and we will grab all of these faces like we had before. But now I want to go ahead and and color this solid black. So we'll grab all those. Um, go to the materials tab. Select this white material. Actually, we'll we'll get rid of all of these materials. I had materials in there from earlier, but I was testing colors. But I will go ahead and hit new, and we'll call this um, eyes. And then we'll hit this plus button to create a new material. This material will be called uh, pupil, and we'll ma we'll make this solid black. And then we'll hit a sign right there. Looking good. All right. So in material mode, that's what it looks like. We have a little bit of shine on there, which I don't want. So I'll go ahead and I'll turn specular off, and I'll also turn roughness all the way down, just because we don't need it. Uh, now in our materials tab, we will we'll go ahead and reactivate that uh, that subdivision on there. So now it's uh, it's looking good again. So now we are able to actually go ahead and hit Shift D to duplicate. Right click to cancel. Then in the location, get rid of that negative sign. Boop, like that. Looking pretty good so far. I want to go ahead and create a mouth now. We'll go ahead and hit Shift A to add in a cube. This cube will be scaled down by hitting S on our keyboard. G Y to move it forward. S once again. Um, and then SX to move it uh, to, to scale it lengthwise. We'll hit tab to go into edit mode. We can hit N to get rid of this panel inside. We don't need that anymore. Uh, we'll go to loop cut and we'll loop cut this one, two, three times. We'll change the number of cuts up here to three instead of one. And then we'll click once and now we have three cuts. It's really weird. I don't know why they did that, but it's, I guess it's kind of cool. But anyway, I'll change that back down to one so I don't forget later on. Uh, tab to go out, out of edit mode. Actually, we can we can stay in edit mode. We'll uh, go to face select mode, and we'll go back to select box, and we will select uh, both of these end faces by uh, clicking one of them, holding down shift, and then grabbing this one over here, um, and then G Y. But you can see it's not moving the other vertices, so I will hit O to go into orthograph orthographic to uh, turn on uh, 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 proportional editing. Um, now we can hit scroll our mouse wheel down a little bit. Hit G Y G Y to move them backwards. Uh, so now they're like that. Uh, we'll go ahead and add in a subdivision service by hitting uh, a sub sub subdivision by going and adding a modifier uh, right there. Looking good. We'll turn the view up to like uh, maybe three for the render and for the view. We'll go to object shade smooth. Looking good. Looking good. I also want to go ahead and move all of this up. So I'll go and t hit this little box right here to make sure we can see all of the edges. I'll, I'll switch to vertices select mode since it's easier. Hit B to box select, drag a box over all of that in the middle, and then just pull it up a little bit. And then I'll do the same thing with just the center vertices and pull that up a little bit. So it looks like he's like frowning a little bit because he's a sad fish boy. Um, we're going to go ahead and hit Shift D to duplicate this uh, mouth here. Hit G, Y, and we'll move it up just to create some eyebrows. We'll just move it where we need it to be. Go ahead and grab those, pull them down even more since this is the eyebrows. Looking good, looking good. Um, and now now we can go ahead and hit that back off. Um, and then hit Shift D, move it over by opening this end tab, changing the negative, putting that over there, and the, the negative for the rotation of the Z axis, we can get rid of that negative sign. We'll turn up subsurface uh, scattering on our our guy there. I have ambient inclusion and subsurface scattering and screen space reflections turned on. 0.2 for the first one, the second one will leave it, and for the third one it will be 1. Um, and I'll also go ahead and grab this base color and drag it to the subsurface color right there. Turn subsurface up almost halfway, drag it down there. And we can leave this reddish color here uh, for the mouse since it's kind of red anyway. And then specular all the way up roughness almost all the way down and that is going to be it for our fish boy we'll go ahead and copy these uh, colors up for the eyebrows so i hope you guys enjoyed making this fish boy with me today i'll see you guys in the next video but until then but